First tonight, a teenager who shot and killed two people during a protest in Wisconsin now cleared of all charges. Kyle Rittenhouse was facing life in prison and tonight he is going home a free man. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Michelle Lee and I'm Casey Nolan. Some see it as justice. Others have a lot of questions about this verdict. And what does it mean for future protests when people on all sides show up armed? It's the Johnny Cash song, Don't Take Your Guns to Town, and it wasn't even his town. St. Louis University Law School professor Anders Walker teaches criminal law, and one of his latest lessons has been the Kyle Rittenhouse trial. After reviewing the video evidence with his students, Walker says he is not surprised the jury found Rittenhouse acted in self-defense. He didn't live there. He was not defending his property, but that doesn't mean he loses his legal right to self-defense. It doesn't mean that people in Kenosha have a right to kill him. Even if some would argue he started the problem, in the first place by showing up with a gun. That's correct, but remember, uh, we do have a right to bear arms in this country, and if someone attacks us, we can then use those arms. We don't have a right to point guns at people uh, and intimidate them. That's assault, and we didn't see that charge here. Since 2014, people of varying politics have shown up to protest in Ferguson armed. Walker says this verdict could make that even more dangerous in the future. Everybody tends to think if I show up with my gun and I point it at someone, they're going to do exactly what I say because that's what happens on TV. But in reality, people might attack you. And at that point, you are in serious trouble and you might end up shooting and killing someone. And this might be why they decided to prosecute. Honestly, it was not a great case for the state here. Rittenhouse had a pretty good argument. They may have wanted to set an example precisely to discourage this from happening in the future. Now, though, it might embolden it. We will just have to wait and see, and it does add to the level of danger for everyone involved. Previously, St. Louis County Police have asked armed groups to stay away from protests, even those who claim to have military or police training. Today, the department had no comment on whether this verdict makes that a harder message to get across.